Hello, I am Olivia, the owner of Profits and Books Bookkeeping Services and Online Marketing Services. I am a qualified bookkeeper as well as a QuickBooks Pro Advisor. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video. I want to talk about funding today, specifically the funding where you apply for a loan from the bank because that is what the funding is that I will be focusing on today, even though you get different types of funding. There is a misperception that when funding is attached to a word that you don't have to pay the money back. There is an idea with lots of South African business owners like we are waiting for funding. And they think that someone is going to come and say what a brilliant idea yes a load of money for you to start your business that's not how funding works the specific funding i want to talk about today it's financing and as with everything when it comes to financing it's money that you are asking from the bank or any financial institution that can provide you with that money the key to money is to do your sums right, to get the calculations right. And you need to ask you yourself, when you say, oh, I need funding, is it a nice to have or is it a must have? Because those are the questions that you would need to answer when you apply for the funding. If you want to borrow money from the bank or financial institutions for something that isn't part of your core operations, it might be difficult to get the money. What I mean with core operations, when you have a transport business and you say that you want to go to the bank and because I want to expand my business and you say, I want to go and borrow money to accessorize my taxes. The bank is going to say no because it's not part of your core business but if you say that i want money from the bank because i want to buy another vehicle and here is the proof that what i'm doing now it's working the one i have already on the road is making me enough money the bank the bank will say cool let's consider this another example say for instance you own a hair salon to run the salon you need supplies you maybe need a different bigger premises because your clientele your client base is growing so fast that your current place is becoming too small so even though to expand it's not part of your core business but it will add value to your business then the bank will consider that because when you extend your premises, it means you will bring in more clients. The bank will say yes. So can you see the calculations and the sums and considerations that are involved when you go and you ask the bank for money or any other financial institution? So now what do you need, right? It's very easy when you have a good idea. And it sounds brilliant and everyone is clapping and cheering. It's such a good idea. You know, this thing will work. And you go to the bank with just an idea. Your chances of getting money is very slim because there is no proof that your idea will work. Regardless of how many other people have been doing it, the bank wants to know what are you going to do to make this work. An idea is not enough to get money from the bank. So this is just a background of things that you should consider before you rush off to ask for money. And then I want to touch on one last thing that is a very, very common thing. When you have a cash flow problem, don't even dream of going to the bank to ask for money because you are struggling to manage your money that you have the bank is going to say no 
because they are not going to give you money if you can't manage the money that you have already. The bank wants to see like this man or this woman who is a business owner. Already they have structures in place that can show the bank that they are managing the money. They don't need the money from the bank to stop the leakages. They're not asking money from the bank so that they can have cash available. No, they are asking money to expand their business because already they have the cash flow is in order. Their books are in order. Then the bank will consider to give you money. So what is the bank looking at? Because very often you think it's how much you make. You know, I will keep on repeating this because this is a common pitfall for many businesses. So you've made a million rand or maybe you made five million rand and you're like, now I'm going to the bank to ask for money. Well, you can make five million rand a month and then you get the guy who makes 500,000 rand per month. You who make 5 million, you don't get the loan. But the guy of 500,000 gets the loan. And you ask yourself, but I make more money than this dude. Why did I not get the money? And this is why. When it comes to funding, remember the bank says to you, if you want funding, go to a bookkeeper. Find a bookkeeper. Why do you think you need a bookkeeper if you want to apply for funding? Because what the bookkeeper does is take all your information and puts it in one place so that when you, instead of going with 12 months or two years bank statements, what you do, you get management reports. And on those reports, is the information that the bank needs. And where does that information come from? From those two months of bank statements? Instead, because the bank officials don't have time to go through months and months of bank statements and your bank statement, it's also not a reflection of what is really going on in your business. Right. So now, when you go to the bookkeeper, and you say, I want to apply for funding. And the bank said, I must find a bookkeeper. This is what the bookkeeper needs from you. Bank statements. You cannot get away from bank statements. It's the core of what we do. Bank statements. Receipts. Invoices. Client list. Supplier list. If you have watched my other videos, then you will see Everything comes back to these few things that only you can provide. And remember, there's no getting away from it. So now you bring those documents. It gets compiled or it gets prepared for you. And that preparation, it's going to take time and it's going to cost you money. So because the bank wants things fast and efficient. When I say fast, not rushed, you don't slop things together and then present it to the bank because you are dealing with experts who know what to look for. So if you are trying to bamboozle them by thumb sucking numbers and figures, they will catch you out and it will hurt your chances of getting money so badly that you won't know what has hit you. So now you make 5 million rand every month, but you don't have any bookkeeping structures in place. So all of that information needs to be put in a comprehensive, precise, easily accessible and easily readable format. Those, that format is called your profit and loss, your balance sheet, and your cash flow statement. That is what the bank wants. Once those documents are prepared, you then go back to the bank or the financial institution and you say, 
this is what my bookkeeper has prepared and then they will consider you i just want to note and i want to make you aware of something very important as well when you have the documents from the from your bookkeeper you do not get the expectation that now i have the documents and my book my bookkeeper has prepared it so now i will get the money from the bank i don't work in the bank they use a different criteria for each client the only thing i do is prepare your documents the key word here is prepare prepare is to get it ready so you can apply for funding it's not a guarantee it's only a possibility that you will get the money so if you get the documents from me as your bookkeeper and you present them to the bank and the bank says no we're not giving you any money you cannot blame your bookkeeper because as a bookkeeper i can only present what you have given me those numbers is not a reflection of how cute and wonderful i am those numbers is a reflection of how you behave and what you do in your business they come from you and only you and all i do is to compile it and to prepare it so it can be easily read and accessed by the bank so i hope that with this video i have made a few things clear of what to expect when you apply for funding because at the end of the day i'm not the one who's preparing who's applying for funding you are and you have a certain responsibility and a certain contribution that you must make so that i can prepare your documents at the heart of it all and i will repeat it over and over again until it sinks in at the heart of it all it is your documents and those documents are your bank your bank statements all receipts all the slips and then also your client list and supplier list so if you are looking for someone to prepare your documents for funding and you need more information you just click on the link below or you can leave a comment or you can get in touch with me i thank you so much for watching this video and of course you know i would love and appreciate it if you could love if you could like and subscribe to this video i am olivia the owner of profits and books bookkeeping services and online marketing services and we are based in pretoria thank you so much for watching